Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over Enscape 2.0 and how to set up your model to prepare for a screen recorded walkthrough. How to make a crisp clean presentation that your clients will enjoy and uh, some tips for assembling your final video. So let's get started. So in this model I've already set up a starting view. I've got a section box around the area that I want to walk through in Enscape and I'm pretty much ready to go with a screen recording so that I can deliver a nice uh, animation, walkthrough animation to my client. First of all, uh, hopefully you've had a, a chance to look at some of the earlier videos and you're comfortable with the navigation controls so that we can go ahead and hide by pressing H on the keyboard, those controls there. And uh, I'm going to leave the map up on the top left. Again, you can press M on your keyboard to show or hide that map. I think it's, it's good for your overall orientation. So let's start with your input controls. Um, I'm going to pull Enscape up on this side and have Revit up at the same time. So on your Enscape tab at the top of Revit, there's a settings button. Let's go ahead and open that. And you'll see right here under settings, there's a place for input. And the main things we want to focus on here are mouse smoothing, movement smoothing, and movement speed. So. I'll just show you the difference between uh, your default, again double click to reset those sliders, your default mousing is pretty shaky in Enscape. If you crank your mouse smoothing up, I'll just wiggle the mouse again, it kind of evens that out, it's a little more forgiving and it, it offers a uh, better transition as you're changing your view throughout the space. Same goes with movement smoothing. If I'm walking around in Enscape, got some pretty sharp turns in here as I'm just moving to demonstrate. If you turn up movement smoothing, you'll have a little less uh, bounce or bump when you're, when you're transitioning from one direction to the next. So I crank both of those up when I'm getting ready to do a screen recording. The other thing that I notice is I know my projects pretty well and I, I walk through them what seems to be too quickly. So uh, although it's a, a great speed for me, my clients have difficulty following along, so I like to slow that way down. Uh, so you can slow down your movement speed by simply dragging this slider. I set mine to about 0.4, and that'll let you walk a lot slower. It's great for these kind of walkthroughs because it gives ample amount of time to actually observe and see the space that you're trying to record. So those are the big uh, s controls here under Enscape settings that you want to adjust beforehand. And again, you can save those settings as a uh, custom setting by clicking that save icon, rename it. I love caps lock. Hit, the, hit that green check. And then anytime you want to go back into a screen recording, it'll be added right to your list there. So lastly, we'll just go over a couple of tips that may help you in composing your walkthrough. So let me minimize that. Let's see, escape right here. So go ahead and establish a nice path that you want to follow and try and stick to it. Uh, plan it ahead of time, your walkthrough, but don't be discouraged if you stray from your path. My best advice is to record everything and split it together afterwards. So I'll go ahead and do a quick walkthrough of this entire space. I'll speed it up, and then afterwards I'll show you a condensed version of it where I've gone through and, and sniffed out portions of that overall walkthrough, apply a very simple transition, and we'll see the final product. So without further ado, here we go.
So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helps and good luck with your next Enscape walkthrough presentation. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just write them below and stay tuned for the next video where we'll be doing a lot more cool stuff in Enscape. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.